71 million people stirred worldwide with its equivalent to 1% of the population. So stuttering is a neurological condition that affects the flow of the speech production. It means that the person is talking and can experience a feeling of losing control. And it can have a major impact in their lives, in social, professional, educational, because communication is everywhere. One of the major challenges in therapy is what we call the variability. It means that uh, a person in one specific situation can be very stuck and it can be very hard to talk or not talking at all. After some moments, it can be totally fluent. And this is a major challenge because it's dependent of the context, it's depending of stress, uh, other variables. So it's very difficult to measure and to do the appropriate treatment. Today, the way we assess stuttering is in the clinical setting in a specific moment with direct observation of the symptoms. These have a strong limitation because it's just one moment. We are missing the other situations that variability can cause an impact. On the other hand, we use self-assessment questionnaires. It's the perception of the patient. Uh, it's useful, but at the same time, sometimes there is a huge gap between the perception and what is really going on. Our proposal is to develop a tool that can replicate different situations that allow us in a safe environment with the use of a VR a headset to catch exactly what the person experienced in real life. And with that tool, we can analyze exactly in, a, in measure, in a very detailed way, what is going on and with that do a precise diagnostic and a treatment plan very individual to that person, but also to analyze the progress of the treatment. All the scenes are made of videos that are viewed through a VR headset and each video sequence is 180 degree wide. It covers half a sphere and is shot in 3D. The 3D effect really improves the sense of realism and the feeling of presence of the user in the scene especially when the actors uh, are at the right distance from the camera. We opted for video and real actors instead of avatars evolving in virtual environments. Both are fine, but immersive videos enabled us to reach a higher degree of uh, realism, especially when it comes to facial emotional expressions of real actors, which ultimately contribute to trigger emotions uh, in the users. Everything is scripted to generate a progression in the experience from easier situation to more stress-inducing moments. For instance, the job interview experience starts at the reception of the company and finishes with a scene in which two more actors that were not expected by the user walk into the room and join the, the main interviewer uh, for what ends up being a group interview with more challenging questions. All the sequences are combined in a video player that was developed specifically by our team here at Sherlock for the project. The software we develop enables the user to choose how the story unfolds. We can then create a story with branches where the user would choose the most relevant path for them. And most importantly, the app is recording and archiving the speech samples of each user so that the speech and language pathologist can later on perform a detailed analysis of each speech extract. The trust and financial support of BGB Cube, part of the European Union's Horizon 2020 program, enabled us to develop and test a prototype that has the potential to completely reconfigure and improve stuttering diagnostics and treatments. Our next step is to continue developing the software and enlarge the catalog of video experiences in various languages, English, Spanish, Portuguese, and Arabic. The feasibility study was finalized and we are now looking for funding opportunities to scale up and transform our functional prototype into a fully fledged product. Currently, we are focusing on the diagnostics of stuttering but our speech immersion tool has the potential to go much beyond and to play a key role in the treatment of the full range 
of speech, language, and communication needs.